gear up for game day with the Pig Trail Nation just a few minutes away. But first up, how to remedy a serious concern protecting our children and school zones. Thanks for joining us here at 10 o'clock. I'm Doug Warner. And I'm Sonia Hill. For some areas, the concern is becoming a real problem. KNWA's Gabriella Phelan was in Pea Ridge today. She was talking with Pea Ridge police about the new proactive measures they're taking in their school zones. So what did you learn today, Gabby? Doug and Sonia, the city of Pea Ridge announced today that it's going to be slowing drivers down in school zones. Pea Ridge police tell me it's all in an effort to keep kids safe. Some people just don't stop at the stop signs. They recently put in a four-way stop. It's very, very scary because there's a lot of kids walking in the morning. Drivers in Pea Ridge are getting a peek at something that's about to change. The city chose to reduce the common speed of 25 miles an hour down to 15 miles an hour. Lieutenant John Langham with the Pea Ridge Police Department says the city is changing the speed limit on Weston Street near Pea Ridge Middle, Primary, and Junior High Schools. He says it's a decision he agrees with after serving as a school resource officer in the past. By myself as the crossing guard, as an adult who was tall enough for everybody to see. That's what everybody tells us as well. They were they were too short, I couldn't see them. Well, as an adult, I'm six foot one. I was wearing a traffic vest and I still almost got hit on several occasions. And lately, the dangers are hitting too close to home for Langham. I looked up today, I found six different incidents just this year across Northwest Arkansas of children being hit in crosswalks. Brandy Trimmel, a special education teacher at Pea Ridge Junior High, lives just off Weston Street with her two young kids. She says seeing a wreck on the road is not uncommon. And it's been accident after accident here. Um, they don't, they don't pay attention very much. And even with a heavy police presence, she says many of the drivers show little concern. It's kind of crazy that the speed limit is already pretty low and when the school is in session, but they still don't seem to care. Trimble is hoping the new speed limit will create a safer place for children who are walking to and from school. I think it's a good thing. I just hope people will actually obey that. <laughs> And Langham, who is a dad himself, agrees. We want to protect the people that are trying to cross the street in that busy area. Uh, we also want to protect the drivers. Um, nobody wants to hit a kid. Nobody wants to hit another car. Well, the signs are already up along Weston Street, covered by black bags. Pea Ridge PD says they'll be uncovered when the new speed limit goes into effect on November 4th. Live in studio, Gabriella Phelan, KWA, Northwest Arkansas News. Gabriella.